Looking good, Craig. You ready for the terror? If I'm not mistaken, I thought of fishing that code with a wobble head and a bobble worm. Long time ago you did. I think with you and Bubba. Yeah. You know, right where he's going. I'm gonna go cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is the first time that LFD and I have converged at the ramp at the same time and not known it. Like I didn't know he was going out this morning, but oh there he is. We're gonna me and Craig. That's Spring Craig! We're gonna go talk to Smack LFD. Why not? Oh see he had one that was a double digit that he lost last year over there. And now he just fishes there every day. On to sleep. He checks it every day before he goes and goes to another spot. Throws the spinner bait right on it. Well if the in the sunrise can't get in there, it's two feet deep. Did that on purpose, but couldn't barge his hole. The father-son competition's real. Oh, boil, 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 right there. Throw, 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 throw. I didn't see it. You're perfectly in line to get blasted. Trout. Oh, God, Craig, that's a largemouth. It's a largemouth. Did you hear that suction? Oh, God, Craig. This is the scramble time. This is when you're like, okay, well, what is this? What, uh, how's the, how they do it reacting to this? What, what's going on here? There's a lot of <clears throat> fish on this drop. I want to try something. Oh. It's, a, it's a spot. Oh, is it really? It was a spot, yeah. You ready to be a grandpa? Yes, I am. Good luck in your adventure. Yes, sir. Good right. to see you, Mr. Rackley. Take care, man. Hey, are you hungry? Tight lines. No, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. You thirsty? I'm, uh, lost it. <laughs> I have my free range golf. <laughs> nice plug. I'm good. Very good, Dad. Okay. All right. Good luck. Hope you catch one. Checked in with LFD. No bass. I don't know what's going on. Can't even get the white bass to bite. It's the front. Too cold. The front's supposed to fire these babies up. We're gonna send it up north. Make a move. We're not biting down here. It's like they're just not latching on here. They're picky. It's because they've seen look, look at the look. It's because they've seen every lure ever made. Well, I, mean, I can get my top water there. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Shad that was just getting chased. That's pretty decent size. That was good finger size. Yeah, I mean a small bodied shad at all. I was about to set mode. Put the hammer it was it was a all right, I'm gonna tie a worm on. You wanna buckle up, slow fish these sides again? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Okay, putting a wormy on. You still I got that little. Don't let me tie this on, then throw on a crankbait and speed fish me. <laughs> it's a, it's a drum. Shallow drum. Wow. Hungry drum. Man, they always, they're always on the shad. So, oh. Quick release? No, he's hooked quite well. There's a drum. Literally right behind my house. You knew that had some girth as soon as you hooked it. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Does that get you excited? I, I'm gonna get hammered on this. It's just a matter of time. It's a numbers game. So. Another one? I got his tree pounder. Name it Bob. Bob's bark. Would have blasted out. Oh, there's one. Got one on the crankbait. That's a good sign. Is it, what is this? A crappie? What other kind of species are we hammering out here today? Have I been have I been seeing these crappie it's up a here? Big crappie. That's a good one. Check. Jeez. Okay, we checked off a. We had a small mouth bite. Had a spot bite. Had a large mouth bite. Had a drum bite, yeah. now the crappie bite. We're missing a cat. Bite. Need a cat. I'll drag this worm a little slower, see if I can get one. Largy. Oh. Second one on the worm. There we go. 
It's like every species captured. Another one, another D's piece right now. That's fish, uh, that's fish number two at this little spot. It's a nice one. Let's give it a release. Pretty. I'm letting them, I'm letting you catch them all for film purposes. It's between the two houses. Oh, there he is. Got it. He hit it hard, huh? Oh, he did. And that's a dandy. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Dude, this is a, this is something right here. This is hard because I got to run the trolling motor to get us backed up. Oh! That was a five. That was a five. But that caught me off guard. Wasn't ready for that. Got him. Decent? Yeah, I'll shake it. A little D's piece? That's a good one. Well, obviously it Smash got it done. It whatever you want, huh? Hey! On the board. TC getting getting on the board? You got one too? No, we got a rock. Good largemouth, still up shallow. Smally, drum, largemouth, crappie. You had a spot. Came you, know, off. you know what? Oh, and a spot of bass have not got a white bass that's unbelievable for this place and i'm the i'm the white bass king i should be able to catch those anytime any day yeah with your skill set this should have been the first fish we caught right should have but we were literally throwing at them couldn't get them to bite so i don't know what is going on there but we got we put together a decent little limit it's starting to get super hot now though we're probably about to head in but my boy craig is basically a, he's a baller i've got an egg in my pocket. You may be wondering why do I have a hard boiled egg in my pocket? Well, I took two this morning. OSG's been making me these so I can take them easily to go fishing. Still hard, it's ready to go. I was gonna eat it this morning. Anyway, I was trying to get on the fish, got carried away. I don't really feel like eating a warm hard boiled egg. So Craig's gonna take this thing. Mr. Velocity over here used to throw the ball 98. What's the, what's the hardest you ever threw it? Like clocked? Right around there, 98, 99 something, upper 90s. 98, 99, throwing that cheese. Here's your egg. We want to see know. maximum explosion impact. Give it pretty close then for the, okay. for the explosion impact. I see a nice flat rock right here. It's got some poop on it. I'm gonna see if you can dome that poop. We've been talking about these, these nice bird chats all morning. Putting the spot lock on. We'll see what happens. Woo! A little left. Left. Put a little slide on it, but it exploded. It hurt a little bit too. I've seen better arms on a snake. Oh, classic. Just kidding. I learned that line from Craig this morning. He's like, you got any good fishing smack talking lines? Leave your best fishing smack talking line in the comments below. We need some like RT Gibbon certified smack talking lines out there on the water. I'll probably use them in the video. Craig, gonna end the day after the egg with a giant. Well, like he we, must have been hungry. Worm's bigger than he is. Actually true. I thought it was a bluegill when it first shot out of the water. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> the greatest release of all time. <laughs> I'm hot. You hot? It's called a day. It's called a dizzle. Well, we've made it back from the heat of the day. We've taken refuge in what will become the outdoor cave of wonders. Right now it's just a bunch of boxes and stuff. And uh, OSG's in here doing some stuff. You still in there? I see movement. <laughs> just making a bed. Just making beds. I'm just doing some house duties over here. <sighs> Keeping the house nice and welcome and friendly. I appreciate it, babe. Mm -hmm. I love you very much. Craig was in town doing some coaching for the Dallas Mustangs, which is a baseball organization we used to play for when we were growing up around here. And we decided to go out to the lake where we, the, the first lake we ever went bass fishing at. We started fishing ponds when we were kids around here. And then uh, that was our first lake we graduated to and started catching fish out of eventually. It took forever, like probably a, a whole uh, junior, senior year of high school to finally learn how to catch a bass out of there. 
What made it even better was it was new water that is uh, really close to the tree house. So we actually thought about doing a kayak launch down here, but I haven't exactly figured the trails and everything out. I've been doing that behind the scenes. I'm gonna take you guys um, on some of these trails that I've found. It's not a clear cut path. It's definitely out there in the woods, but I thought it'd be a cool video to uh, go down there with the kayaks or something. And I was surprised to know that there are largemouth uh, that are on this side of the lake where I've never fished before. So that was some good research that we found out today. And I had a big one on, I would say probably about four pounds. Craig said it was about five. You know, he tends to exaggerate a little bit. That was a five. But let me show you guys the technique of how we ended up catching these fish because we tried some other stuff this morning that just didn't pan out. Now, if you guys missed the video that I did on the uh, Possum Kingdom Lake, the super clear lake, when I fished with Jigga Majoran and Yappy Tuan Tuan and had the crazy like fish schooling out of the trees kind of action, this is what I was fishing right here. A flick shake head. I got it in an MTB box. I think it's, I don't know, it's called the flickety spit, split. Flickety split though, that's a mouthful. I believe this is a 1 8 ounce lead head on there with a finesse hook. No weed guard. You can fish them with weed guards. This one didn't have a weed guard. Five inch stick bait on there. And this is one that one of y'all sit in. It was kind of like a June bug. I'm not sure if color really mattered too much. Uh, it's just really the technique though. This is a rig. I'm going to be going up to Canada here in a, a week or so. Uh, and this is a rig that I'm going to be taking up to Canada. Six pound test on a thousand size reel with a six foot six medium action rod. This is the Phantom Rod, my favorite fishing. This is like my little finesse rod for throwing stuff like this. Uh, I like it a little shorter for skipping under docks and things like that when I'm fishing these man-made lakes down here. But if you just look at the action, it's you give it a little flick and you shake it and it does all, it does its thing. It's crazy that it's on a bait that literally does nothing in the water if uh, you rig it just like on a, on a shaky head style which catches them too but when you do it like this it's got all kinds of action on the sink when you don't even have to move it and we had thrown spinner baits and we had thrown crate baits and tried all these techniques i had a spotted bass on a, on a swim bait this would have worked in those same areas we just switched up presentations and we started getting bites um, all of a sudden after doing that. Craig was throwing a text rig version of this. He had some bites on that, uh, but this seemed to be the dealio. A lot of the shad I was seeing, they were getting chased high up in the water column. We saw multiple times bass were chasing shad out of the water. We couldn't get bit on the crankbaits and spinnerbaits, top waters. It was crazy. We should have been getting bit on that. This is the time of year where I like to go out deep and find those schools of fish, but it just wasn't happening today. And this is a technique I feel like you can still catch those shallow fish that are a little bit more timid on. And it's a great backup bait if you're fishing top waters uh, early in the morning and getting blow ups, maybe they're missing it, have this to throw out there. Try to get it in the same spot where they blew up, let it sink on slack line, and look for the line to start twitching. If you guys are wondering about LFD, you caught into a mess of white bass, but could not get the largemouth to bite, so I'm definitely gonna give him this tip today. I thought that was really awesome running into my dad too out there on the water. I didn't know he was gonna be fishing and just show up there and hey, there's my pops right at the ramp. We're gonna sign it off right here, y'all, and we're about to head up north. Father's Day is coming up and Rainy Lake has been a place I've gone with my dad every Father's Day for the last couple years, and we're gonna continue that tradition and go slay some smallmouth, some walleye, some pike, uh, maybe get into some big crappie too. I'm not sure. And it's not going to be a thousand degrees like it is down here in Texas right now. So that should be some good stuff coming up, you guys. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the button right here. Hit the notifications button, bell, bell thing. We call it the ding dong here on this channel. And if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the like button. In the matrix, it helps things out. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are, and hope you're giving it a dangle. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.